Hey everybody, it's TJ Leasley, and in this video, I'm going to go over the tool I use to create cover photos, Pixelmator. Okay? Now, Pixelmator is for Mac, so you do need to be using an Apple computer to use it, but if you do have an Apple computer, Pixelmator is available to purchase for $29.99 at the Mac App Store. So it's available for under $30, and I've found that it's by far the cheapest and the easiest software product to use out there as far as creating cover photos, all right? So what I want to do now is I'm going to show you how to create a cover photo, then we're going to go over to our test fan page where I'll then show you how easy it is to upload the image to your fan page, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do a live demonstration on how to create a cover photo with Pixelmator. So as you can see here, guys, I do have Pixelmator open. And first thing you want to do is hit the plus sign here and create new image, okay? So the first thing you're going to want to do, guys, is you're going to want to go ahead and set the width and height, okay, of your particular uh, image you're going to create. In this case, we're going to do a cover photo. So the cover photo dimension is 851 pixels by 315. So as you can see, it's already set. And then we're going to hit OK. So what it does now is it pulls up a cover image, okay, that we're now going to use as a canvas to create our cover photo. So over here are the various tools that we have that we can use to create our cover photo. And then over here are the various layers, okay? So as we add things to the cover photo, it's going to create a layer every time we do something, all right? All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to add our first layer. And first thing I want to show you guys is how you just drag and drop a picture in. And next thing you know, it will show up for you. Okay, so there you go. I just took a picture of a golf background, okay, and I took it up there and I dropped it in. Now what I'm doing is I'm adjusting it and I'm trying to find what I think is the best view, okay, to create this cover photo. So you have the mountains view, you also have the golf course view. So I'm going to make this about golf. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use the golf course view and maybe right about there looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and use this as our image, okay? Now the next thing I want to do is I want to add some text, okay? So what you want to do is you want to come over here and you want to click on the T for text and then come back to this and go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, the text shows up and all you have to do is look up here now and you have your various controls as far as creating the text, okay? So let's go ahead and create some text. So let's say I love golf, all right? So now we have some text involved. So once we click on that, we can now go ahead and move it around, okay? And then once we find the spot, so let's go ahead and put this over here. And now, as you can see, it's in green. But let's say I wanted to change the color of that. All you'd have to do is come up here and go ahead and click on that and you will see the color now come into view. So what we wanna do now is we wanna highlight this. Now we can come over here and we can start changing the color of the green or if we want to make it red, okay, and then we can click on the various reds and it will change, or if we want to, again, make it blue, okay, or purple. So let's go ahead and leave it green, okay, and actually that color looks pretty good. Actually, let's lighten it up just a little bit, okay. So here we go. As you can see, we now have a cover photo coming into effect. We have a beautiful landscape of golf. We now have our text on there, and let's say you want to now add your logo. So now what you can do is you can go ahead and take your image, go ahead and drop it in. So now what I want to show you guys is how you can adjust the size of the photos that you click in. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to come over here to the left. You want to go ahead and click on the top right one over here. And what it does is it puts little boxes here and some arrows. Okay, so here's what you can do. You can shrink it down. Okay, you can expand it and you can do this to any photo you upload. So let's say you want to put your logo in over here and now you place it there. And another cool feature here, guys, is as you can see, as you drag the cursor off, it bends, and all you have to do is click and rotate. Now you can rotate your image, okay, and then go ahead and find whatever angle you're trying to work at. So let's say you're going to put the image in there, okay, and you want to shrink it down a little bit. All right, so there you go. All right, so the next step is we want to go ahead and save that, okay, so we click OK. And now we're getting pretty close to having to cover photo. But now that you're looking at this, you want to go ahead and say, hey, you know what? I don't quite like that anymore. Uh, what I want to do is delete that. So what you can do is come over to it, guys, and go ahead and click on it. And what it does is you can see it highlights this layer over here. So if you come over here and double click on it, you can go ahead and click delete. And there it is. 
it deletes and it's no longer part of the cover photo, okay? All right, so that's how you can do it. This is in no way gonna show you all the features that there is available. Go ahead and feel free if you do buy Pixelmator, they have great tutorials to watch. But this gives you guys a good idea of how easy it is to really create cover photos, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and save this. So I'm gonna come up to File, and then I'm gonna click Save As, okay? Now we're gonna save this as, we'll just say one, two, three. Now what you wanna do is you wanna come down here and click save as and we're not going to save it as Pixelmator we want to save it as a JPEG okay so now we hit save and it should save to our desktop okay guys now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you back over to Facebook and I'm going to show you how easy it is to upload the cover photo that we just did to the fan page right so I'll see you shortly over in Facebook okay so here we are over at Facebook and I want to show you guys now what it takes to upload the cover photo we just created in Pixelmator, okay? So first thing you want to do is you want to come down to add a cover and click. Then you want to move down to upload photo. And then we're going to go to our desktop from where it is. And we're going to select 123 JPEG. And then we're going to hit choose. And then it should upload for us. And there it is. There's the cover photo we just created. And last thing you want to do is you want to save changes. Okay, well that's all it takes to create a cover photo for your fan page. As you can see, it's pretty easy and you should be able to make many cover photos depending on what you're promoting, whether it's a new product or your particular fan page or your logo, whatever it is, guys, Pixelmator will definitely help you guys get that uploaded, okay? Now, the profile picture over here, as you can see, is very similar. It has the add profile picture here. Now, you can do the exact same thing we did for the cover photo with Pixelmator. It's just the dimensions are a little bit different, and I'm going to go over the various dimensions with you guys now, okay? Okay, so now let's go over the different timeline image sizes, okay? And the first one you see here is cover photo, and again, this is 851 by 315 pixels. Now your profile image is 180 by 180, and then the app's image is 111 pixels by 74 pixels, okay? Now I'm going to show you the next slide here because it does illustrate exactly what we're talking about. So again, guys, the top one here is the cover photo. The one over here to the left is your profile image, and then your app images are down over here to the right, and again, they are 111 by 74. Now if you guys want to do some custom photos or custom images for your apps, what you need to do is you need to go into your app settings, okay? Remember we were talking about edit settings. Within the app settings on that particular app, they do allow you to go ahead and change the photo. So if you can see here on our free giveaway, we created that free. We went into our apps area in our managing permissions, and we went ahead and changed that, okay? All right, guys. Well, that's it. That's all I have for this particular video. Again, my name is TJ Leasley, and I look forward to seeing you in the next training video.